Growing up in a sports-dominated town like Louisville, Kentucky could be tough for a kid who enjoyed reading and science. But when Kenneth Dunn was 12, he joined the Ormsby Boys Club. Head football coach Clint Walker took him under his wing. Kenneth remembers the club as a welcoming oasis where the gym floor practically sparkled and the children always felt safe. Most important, there was Mr. Walker, an inspiring coach and mentor. He taught the rules of football and good sportsmanship. The athletic skills of Kenneth learned at the club helped him get accepted into the U.S. Naval Academy, where he played college football. After graduation, he joined the Marine Corps, where he led a distinguished 30-year career. Along with the athletic skills Kenneth learned at the club, he also developed a spirit of giving back. He put that spirit to work in his role as Deputy Director of Marine and Family Programs. The club also helped instill a lifelong love of learning and an appreciation for mentorship. Kenneth holds two master's degrees and a doctorate in education. Memories of the club and Mr. Walker's guidance led Kenneth to study mentoring for his doctoral research. Today he is a volunteer tutor and mentor. He coaches soccer and basketball. Kenneth also continues to draw on lessons he learned from his parents and finds inspiration in the memory of his beloved sister, Pamela. A fellow veteran and patriot, she passed away in 2009. 50 years later, Dr. Dunn still values what he learned at the club. And he still has his trophy from the city football championship. Please welcome Dr. Kenneth Dunn. I feel that uh, I am walking among giants this evening, not only for in, in uh, a Hall of Fame inductees, which you've met uh, most of them this evening, but also the many counselors and folks who work in the uh, Boys and Girls Club of America. I think that the... I think the job that you do every day in helping to influence young people to make the right decisions and, uh, and helping in their lives is very, very vital. I want to thank uh, Ms. Karen Morgan, uh, the military partnership, and also Tara Wicks, who uh, helped to form that military partnership. I believe this is the 20th anniversary of the Boys and Girls Club and the military partnership. You know, what that uh, military partnership does is it, as these, uh, as these young dependents or these young family members move from, from base to base, the Boys and Girls Club helps them to, to feel at home. So uh, we moved to a, a part of town in the west end of Louisville where there was a boys club, the Ormsby Avenue Boys Club. And I got to tell you, that was an oasis. And then I had the opportunity to join the, uh, I tried out for the football team, the 12 and on the football team. We had, we had a nice team that year, and, and uh, we won the city championship. And this, uh, <laughs> this is a great looking trophy, isn't it? <laughs> I do want to say that uh, it was those things that I learned at, the, at that Ormsby Boys Club in 1964 through 1966, which shaped a lot of, a lot of the things that I carried through high school, through the Naval Academy, and on into a 30-year Marine Corps career. Um, I believe that those things that uh, Coach Walker and his staff and that other staff at the Boys Club set a definite tone of responsibility and character development, which is so important. I think you do a wonderful job. I think that the job that you do is very, very important for the future of our country. We're gonna continue to need your active role in, in making this a, a better country. Thank you very much.